Auto Park has a new update. Vision-based Auto Park. No longer do you have to park between two objects, such as two other vehicles. So as you can see, we are in a basically empty parking lot. And we're just going to inch up. So what you want to do is it'll work on both sides. Go lean to the side you want to park on. So we're on the right side. And go slow. I'm going to put my turn signal on. You see the P, P4 auto park. Put it in reverse. There we go. And I will say this works absolutely amazing. Auto park in progress. Release brake to start. And even if there are other vehicles there, it will take that into consideration when backing up. Since there's no other vehicles here right now, it didn't mind going over that line in order to back up more. But if there was a vehicle there, it would have taken that into consideration, obviously. Now, one of the really big benefits or bonuses of vision-based auto park is you're not at the mercy of what you're parking between. So if Previously, it would use the ultrasonic sensors. Now, if the vehicles you were parked next to were not parked straight, neither would your auto park. Little more room on this side. But if you check it out, it is pretty much straight. It does a much better job of parallel parking or parking in general than my wife does. Perpendicular parking, excuse me. That worked great. If it wasn't for my hitch, that would have been perfect. To the back. And it is perfect in the front. Awesome. Step in the right direction, and I don't even have a full self-drive beta yet.